Welcome to part two of this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in the style of Pixie Cold. And so far we've got the eye, coloured it in and put some splats around it. Uh, we're now going to keep going. And I found this image of paint splatters and I removed the background with the magic wand. Um, and now I'm going to control C and control V it in. And we're going to use the arrow tool to resize it and place it just on the right hand side of the eye. Okay, don't worry about going over the eye for now. And um, then you're going to duplicate that layer and spin it and reduce it in size a little bit so that it doesn't look like the same thing placed twice. Although, don't worry, this is going to be kind of background to other elements. So, I'll just place it. And I think maybe we'll put that layer underneath the um, other layer. Like that. Okay, that's good. Right, then I just need to merge those two layers together. So the paint splatter is on one layer. Which will then allow me to use the eraser tool. And just get rid of the splatter where my the white of my eye is. Okay, once I've done that, I can drag that layer underneath the eye and it blends in quite nicely, I think. Okay, next up, I got this really nice photo of a stargazer lily and I'm gonna select that, control C to copy, control V to paste. And I'm going to, again, use the arrow tool to resize that just on the corner of the eye okay and then I got this picture of a leaf and again I got it on a white background so I could delete the background using the magic wand and I'm just cutting and pasting it in control C control V resizing using the arrow tool and at the moment I'm just going to work on top of the flower I know where the flower is and obviously I'll drop those behind after and I'm just using the duplicate layer to get other leaves and I'm stretching them so that they look a bit different and then going to go to image adjustments hue saturation and mess around with the saturation on each layer to change the colors lightness and darkness so that all four of the leaves look different from each other. Image adjustments, hue saturation, until I'm happy. Click OK. Right, I have four different leaves, so I'm going to right click, merge them together and bring them below the flower. And you can see what they look like. I'm just going to reposition them now so I'm happy with them. And I'm going to duplicate them and spin them so I can put them at the top. Okay, shrink them a little bit so they're a bit different. I'm going to duplicate that layer again. Plop it down the side, plop it underneath the other two. And then I'm going to shrink it a little bit so it fits nicely. There we go, okay. Right, and then I got these nice butterfly pictures, again on a white background, so I could magic wand the white background off. And this one I'm edit, transform, flip horizontally. And placing it by my flowers and leaves, and I got this other picture of a butterfly. And again, placing it, resizing it. Okay. Can get rid of those pictures now, I don't need them. Okay, so now I found these nice lilies with their stems. So I'm gonna take one of them and just put it sticking out the top there, I think. And then I'm gonna duplicate it. So I've got another version of it, make it a bit smaller. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to cut around the other one. 
And this one's got a longer stem, so I'm going to do something with that. Okay, I'm going to paste it in, and I'll show you a neat trick. Edit, Transform, Warp. And it lets you just use the handles to just bend the stem. Not too much, it's a bit limited, but at least it allows you to bend it a bit. Okay, and then once you're happy with that, you can then click off of it and move it again. And the joy of using Photopia and photo editing software is you can shimmy things about if you're not happy with placement. So here I'm going to move this flower. So I've got a bit more room to move this up. There we go. And then I'm going to duplicate this layer, this flower, edit, transform, flip horizontal. So I've got another version of it, but facing the other way. And again, I just want to shimmy that flower out of the way because it's in the way. Okay. Okay. Now, I don't want all of these flowers to be the same color, so I'm gonna go Image Adjustments Hue Saturation and use the Hue Slider to make it a nice yellow. And this one, Image Adjustments Hue Saturation and slide the hue to make it a nice purple. And then making sure I've got the right layer for the last one, Image Adjustments Hue Saturation, slide the slider. I think I'm gonna have this one a nice red, so. I need to up the saturation as well. There we go. Select all the layers together. Right click, merge layers. And that allows me to drag them underneath my flowers and leaves. And it's at this point that you might want to do some shimmying. I think my leaves and flower are a bit too big. So I'm just going to shrink the leaves a little bit. And then merge the leaves and the flower together and just shrink them all a little bit okay good right I'm just gonna nudge my butterfly over a bit too that's good all right now I think I could do with a few more drips so let's go back to my drips select these ones at the end these pink ones control C control V and move them and then duplicate that layer so I've got some more and I'm just going to grab the handle of this one and move it over so it flips over so it looks a bit different Then I'm going to zoom in and grab the eraser tool and just round off the ends of those drips right I'm just going to zoom out and then I'm going to select both those layers then right click merge layers and then I can drag those underneath the leaves and reposition them to my heart's content okay and now those are there it makes me want to just move the uh, plant and leaves again and those plants at the top bring those down a little bit okay now I'm going to show you a little trick that is going to make your photos look a little bit more like drawings you might not want to use it but you might so I'm going to merge together all my leaves and my flowers and then I'm going to duplicate that layer so I've got two layers of it go image adjustments black and white click OK and then filter stylize and find edges and that's going to just kind of find some of the edges okay and then going to go to that on that layer I'm going to go to the drop down menu and I'm going to go down until I find what I think is the best effect in mixing the lines and the photos may look a little bit dark for now but that's okay because what we're going to do then is we're going to merge those two layers together go image adjustments hue saturation and whip up oh, maybe not that much lightness but whip up the lightness a bit definitely whip up the saturation a bit darkness back down a little touch there we go click OK and I think that does quite a nice job of making them look quite stylized a bit less like photographs okay right okay now I'm gonna have some more splats on my picture I think 
So I'm going to duplicate the pink splats and use the arrow tool to shimmy them around. Get them where I want them to be. Okay. Again, don't worry about where the uh, splats go over the eye. Image adjustments, hue saturation. And let's have these ones yellow, I think. That'd be nice. Okay. And just going to shimmy those a little bit more. Make sure they're exactly where I want them to be, right up to the edge of the eye. And then drop that layer below the eye so they blend in nicely. Okay, then I'm going to grab the eraser tool and just rub out any of the spots that have gone onto the white of the eye. And actually while I'm here I've noticed there are some blue ones there as well, so let's just go to that layer and rub those out. There we go. And while I'm on the blue layer, I can duplicate that layer and shimmy that round as well. So let's shimmy that to the bottom here. Spin it round so it fits. And bring it up. There we go. Okay, and we want these to be a different colour too. So let's go image adjustments, hue saturation. And I think orange is where I'm going to go for these ones. Let's find the orange. Okay. Bring the saturation up. That'll do. Okay. And I'm going to change the opacity on this layer as well, just to make them a bit lighter. Okay. Right. One more. Duplicate layer. And I'm going to drag this over to the right, there we go, spin it a bit, so it's coming out from behind my flowers and plants, then image adjustments, hue saturation again, and we're going to change the colour of these as well, not sure about these, yep that looks good, okay. And that is our finished piece in the style of Pixie Cold. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and find it useful. Thanks for watching.